Yeah, that Saturday where I was first introduced to minimalism, I called my mom and I said, Mom, you'll, you'll never guess, but we're going to try and become minimalist. And, and she goes, oh, Joshua, I was just watching Oprah. And they were interviewing some minimalists. Did you know that they don't go to the grocery store? And I said, no, I, I did not read any of that. You know, at the very beginning, <clears throat> when we decided to, to live with less, that, I mean, we went online and, and we looked it up and, you know, could we find some people doing it and what does it look like? And, and we found people in San Diego and people in Guam and people in Portland and, and they all, it, it all looked different to them. And, and I always say quite honestly, some of the ways that they were living out minimalism wasn't wasn't attractive to me. I mean, they sold everything to go live on a farm. I'm like, eh, I don't want to go live on a farm. <laughs> you know, they, they got down to 100 things on a sheet of paper and numbered it one to 100. And I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't want a list of stuff that I own. And they're traveling the world in a backpack. And I'm like, I, I like where I live. Like, I, I like what I'm doing. I, I don't want to do those things. And so we, we knew early on that the minimalism was just going to look like the way we wanted it to look and it was gonna it was gonna match what we wanted to be what we want our life to accomplish and what do we have to keep in order to do that and then what do we have to get rid of so we could better accomplish what it is